Law enforcement agencies across the country are reporting a recruitment crisis saying that there aren't enough applicants to fill jobs. And yeah, now they're trying to find new ways to get people interested in policing while trying to keep the ones they already have, of course. KTV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely investigates. It's the same story at Metro and more rural police departments. Retirements and transfers plus record low applicant numbers mean a struggle to find staff. It's tough. It's tough not only locally, but it's tough across the nation. We just don't have that interest that we have years ago when it comes to law enforcement. Departments say they used to get dozens, if not hundreds of applicants. Many had college degrees. Not anymore. The numbers are, are so extremely low that we're finding a hard time to uh, get a good pool of candidates. In Washington County, a recent post for sheriff deputies only got four applicants. I've been in law enforcement 40 years. I've been sheriff for over 20 years, and this is the worst I've seen in trying to recruit people. The Washington County Sheriff calls this a dark time in policing, but says he's thankful for more public accountability nationwide. In 2020, law enforcement faced a critical eye, meaning people who may have considered the career before may shy away now. We as law enforcement leaders have to get a, do a better job on, on kind of correcting our image and putting them back out there that this is a good profession. A majority of the training that, that they're pushing for with all these uh, new laws and referendums, and we've already been doing. Counties also face difficulties because of competition. Our comparables, technically for comparables, are other cities or other counties outside of Nebraska. Well, that's a problem because when we talk about comparing, we're not competing against our comparables. We're competing against Bellevue Police Department, the Omaha Police Department. The Washington County Sheriff adds those benefits aren't something he can change. It'd have to be lawmakers. It's not only the pay, but the retirement systems they have compared to the smaller agencies. Um, we can't compete with it. And we know it. The proximity to Omaha also presents another problem. Smaller departments say when they hire and train someone, that person is often recruited by another agency. It's devastating because what happens is we train up these individuals, we bring them through the academy, we'll get them on our department, and then two, three years later, well, ten, about two to three years later, they go to another department. In more rural areas, that can leave departments with critical staffing shortages and mandatory overtime. That's very, very frustrating. Um, uh, Papillion took three of ours and Omaha took three of ours. I am tired of just trying to tread water and keep my head above water. So what's the plan to bolster the ranks? I'm going to go to Norfolk, to the uh, community college up there, and I'm going to recruit there the same way other people have recruited. Multiple departments are planning cadet recruitment pipelines, working with local schools to tap into those with an interest in policing. Others are hoping to target communities not well represented on their department. We have to target females, we have to target minorities. So what you're gonna see this time from us is we're gonna be campaigning on buses, and those buses that go through those diverse communities. They're hopeful they can push for change in benefits too, and say they're working to make sure people are safe by having enough help. It's still a good job and it's uh, well worth it. Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.